And following the uproar and fear created by the killings of the soldiers in Okuama, Okoloba communities, some widows and some women in the state are the instance of the office of the Executive Assistant on Women Mobilization are praying for peace in Delta State. Our summer correspondent, Apamajaro Friday, reports that women and wives of God want the peace Delta is known for. One of the rare agenda of the Sharif Borowari's agenda is peace and security. Thank God to restore the peace in Delta State. Like I said, we have enjoyed peace. And that same peace is what we're asking God to restore for us. We want peace. Because we know we can see the hand of Israel. Because me, I don't know how this kind of trouble will just, you know, spring up in Delta State has been very quiet and peaceful. So we want to pray any devil, and we have come to pray, any devil that has bring up his ugly head to try to distract this government or distract his people, that God Almighty will crush them and put them to shame. That no evil will befall gov this government and this state. Because we will not, it, the government will not be happy or the people will not be happy that our people will be dying or shed, you know, will be shedding blood of others. You can't take lives that you didn't give. So that's why we're praying to God to come down and help us and restore our peace in Delta. The women were happy while praying for the governor of the state, the state and the executive assistant to the governor and women mobilization. Fine. I feel happiness and joy. Um, we do not expect the gift. Just come suddenly. Uh, we now tell God to bless her for us. God will continue to bless her. I pray for more grace and head. I pray for the, uh, uh, more knowledge of understanding that God will protect she and the family in the name of Jesus. Important. Because we know how our country is now. We well, know it's rosy, it's very everywhere. If these items get to our home, it's going to help a lot. It's really going to help a lot because of the famine in the state or in the country at large. Secondly, we're so grateful. And more importantly, that the governor and his cabinet remembered the widows and the women. Because when you talk of a nation, you talk of a country, you're talking about the women. Because they bring up these children. And if it's well with them, it will be well with the children. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.